Today, we're at Meadowvale Conservation Area in Ontario, Canada. So, let's go. There seems to be people leaving their garbage around. My saying is if you brought it in, take it out with you. The fact that you couldn't carry this, you carried it in, but you couldn't carry it to a garbage bin, which there's plenty of. I know they're a bit full right now, but my assumption there was a lot of people here yesterday just because it was such a nice day and it's a, um, a free park so you could bring your families. However, when you leave garbage like that, uh, it doesn't help anyone then they're, um, yeah, it just doesn't help anyone. So please pick up your garbage. Park here is free and there is free parking. Uh, the only there are also washrooms that are open. I'm here in June at around seven in, in the morning when it first opened. There was plenty of parking at this time. I'm sure later in the day it'll be a bit more hard to come by uh, because everyone will want to come out here. I took uh, one of the trails near the river. I'm gonna try to go around and then loop back and then do the other side of the river. It's not an overly big conservation area and so far the trails, there's no real routes across. Certain sections it is, you go single file. Uh, and I'm also gonna go pick up everyone's garbage that they left behind on the trail uh, on my loop back. Just because I know I did my little rant earlier, but honestly, people, they're not gonna offer this for free anymore if people just keep leaving their garbage. So please help keep it as a free conservation area or in a place for families to go to by just taking your garbage with you. It'll help so much. Uh, yeah.
trail by the lake actually takes you out to the road and you kind of have to circle back. Uh, so you can either go this way up to the road or you can go along this way, which is beside the road. It's not the most ideal. This path is a bit overgrown in certain aspects of it's like tall and there is definitely a, a pathway and you may run into a few spider webs along the way. Um, especially if you're here this early in the morning and no one else has walked that path. But there are trails in the path throughout uh, Credit Valley that are more like paved so you wouldn't run into this problem if you just stayed more to the main trail and didn't go the full way around the river. As you can see, we came out near the road, near the Credit Valley administration sign uh, for taking the path along the river. There are no trail maps here uh, or indicators along the, the trail. So you kind of have to know where you're going. I have my maps me open, but maps me or Google will for the most part tell you the trails. So I just recommend having your phone with you so you know which way you need to go when you're walking. On my maps, me map, there, the trail indicates that kind of goes into the river and then it starts up on the other side. So typically they'll have like a trail map and it, it'll go right across the river if you can cross the river, but it didn't. So I came to check it out and basically it looks like it used to be a bridge and now it's no longer. So you definitely can't get across this way. So I'll have to go back to that main bridge that we saw that we came across earlier. So what I've done for the trail today is I've gone and I've parked on the, I don't know what side, but the main side where you can go and park and Google Maps will take you. I've walked along and I've crossed the bridge. Then I've taken the trail that goes towards the, the river. And it, so it's a more narrow trail uh, with, it's like a single file type of trail and there's a bit overgrown uh, plants happening. So I wouldn't recommend that if you, don't like to touch plants as you walk and if you have small children it just might not be a pleasant walk. There are mosquitoes out this morning so uh, wear bug spray. Also so when you walk along there it does loop back around and you'll hit the road. I took the road and then joined back as you saw and then I've done the other side of the bridge or along the river. That's a nice flat trail definitely two person however you can't get back to the other side without going all the way to the road and walking back down around so we're just gonna head back at this point and take the bridge across and and that's it for today it's really a short kind of hike here there's definitely lots of open space so if you did want to bring your kids to play any types of you know sports or uh, have a picnic it's definitely the park to do that because it is free I'm sure it fills up later in the day and there's less parking available Hopefully you've liked this video, so please like and subscribe. Thanks.